Hey guys, what's up? Skushtuck here once again. Right, now... Um, I've been playing by myself, and as you can see, look at that shit. Attack, endurance, it's max too. Alright, I've been fucking busy. Alright. Um, now let's, uh, let's eat some shit here. And, uh, yeah, I'm sort of at, like, the end of the day here, because I've, I've literally just been doing chicken steps and fighting in that dojo, like, all day. And, uh, it's still a bit early, so I'm also, I'm now going to show you off this. Yeah. Hmm. A part-time job? Driving a fucking forklift. Excuse me. Uh, finally, I'm here for the job. What do I do? My forklift operator got some kind of stomach bug. I can't move this all by myself. I'll pay you so. And all I have to do is move this stuff, right? Then you'll help? You know the drill, Dio. Please. Hmm. Oh, look at him considering it. It's like, he used to do this all the time. Wait. It's not that. Yeah, we go. Sure. Oh, great. I could really use the help. Let's get started then. Okay. Now, the forklift driving in this game, it's definitely like. You know, it's definitely for, like, the nostalgia purposes, rather than, uh... Rather than, like, a deep, sort of complex, uh, bit of the game like it was in Shenmue 1, you know? Because you only- you have a very limited space to drive around in. And while it does actually tie into something to do with the town, which I quite love... Uh... Right now- oh, fuck. I'll also tell you this, by the way. The fucking, like... The fucking button to raise and lower the forklift is the fucking the B button, and then, you know, obviously in, like, Shenmue 1 and the HD remaster, it's the fucking A button, and it's a pain in the arse because the A button just, like, changes the view. Which you could do in a Shenmue 1, but it's just like, ugh, why you gotta be like this? Also, I'm surprised this, uh, bridge here uh, can uh, take the weight of this forklift. Also, it seems to, like, lower and raise itself automatically as you come in into these, uh, squares. I don't know what that's all about. But, uh... But, you know, regardless, it is very nice to see, uh, the forklift back, you know? Not gonna lie. Uh... Even if it is just for... Even if it is a rel relatively shallow minigame. I say shallow. I did this a lot, by the way. Uh, for those of you who know <laughs> who know how this game goes uh there's a fucking yeah I, I did this a lot near the end of the game <laughs> it was my favorite way to sort of earn money i became so good at like these corners here which i don't know why neo has to go like behind oh fuck right just like shem you won you just get caught off the edge there right i'm assuming those traffic cones are there so as to not interrupt like you know pedestrians and shit i can only assume that's the reason because otherwise you're just making it needlessly complicated for Neo to navigate through. But whatever. Everything happens for a reason. Fuck. So yeah. I'm getting all nostalgic about my Shemu 1 Let's Play where, oh god. Do you guys remember in that fucking sh Let's Play, alright? I, I don't know why I did this, you know what, this is gonna be surreal to talk about, finally. But for some reason I put a fucking Leonard Skinner song in, over the game, alright? I don't know why I did that, right? It was like, it was it was working by Leonard Skinner, right? Who are like, who've been like my favourite band since like, you know, secondary school. And I don't know, maybe I thought just because, oh, Neo's working, I'm going to put this Leonard Skinner song over it. All I did was get me a fucking, like, bunch of <laughs> copyright strikes, okay? I don't know what I was thinking. It's like, that's the stupidest fucking thing, all right? I don't know, I'm not putting the, t the song's not showing up here, in case you're wondering, right? No Leonard Skinner this time, okay? I want to keep my channel in good standing. Um, 
But yeah, fucking weird. Like, uh, my decision to do it was weird, I should say. Um, right now, there is actually something. I don't know. It doesn't really. It probably doesn't matter too much, but Doolin. Uh, no, he's not Doolin. Fuck, what's his name again? Fuck, I can't remember Doolin's brother's name. Uh, he will actually teach you a move if you. Uh, I think. If I get the timing right here, he might actually change it. You know what? Let's make Quota here and then just X. I don't know if that's how it'll work. Basically, once you do the forklift a few times, he'll offer to teach you a move, and I think. It's probably the only time in the game where you get, like, an optional move instruction. You know, obviously you get, like, move instructions from Soon back in Bailu. Um, and uh, there's one other to go mandatory in this game. But I think this is the only optional one that you can get. I think. Who knows? Maybe there's something I missed, you know? But, uh, yeah, still quite interesting. Right. Also, another cool thing about the uh, forklift minigame is that the stuff that you collect uh, from the warehouse... Okay, we're not doing it here, but you also, like, collect from the boat. And it will actually, you know, um, it'll show up in town, basically. Like, I think that arcade machine that I just uh, plonked on the boat there... I can't say I've ever checked myself, but I don't think that will be available in one of the arcades now because we've just, like, you know, shifted it. It's just a nice... It doesn't really matter much, but it's just a cool little, uh... thing that they do, you know? Oh, God, do I hit... Do I hit, like, uh, start here? I'm... S I don't want it to go into nighttime just yet. Oh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it did end. I only got 175. Not, not too bad. Um, could have got a couple more in there. Great job, buddy. This port is crazy, but you still met the quota. I'm gonna have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. You'll get a 50 yen raise. Come on back, you hear? Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. He is not going to teach us the move now. Okay. We'll do some more forklifting in the morning. All right, Ren. Ren actually... I don't know if I can do it now. Yeah, Ren gives you a side quest that I can't be arsed to do. Uh, I know I was quite keen about side quests in the, uh, in the previous, in Bailu, but now I'm just like, yeah. Uh, where exactly are we in the story? Um, Forklifts, and you. Right, found the front of the slightly. Wait, the tea was, a tea shop was amazing. No, it was Nadio. You were fucking like giving me the bulk that was. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to the fucking uh, shrine. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, hold on, Mister Hazuki. You're Mister Zhang's. I'm Wei. Nice to meet you. Um, is something the matter? We can't find Zhang. Mr. Zhang is missing? Again? We've searched high and low, but haven't found a single clue. Oh, no. Can I ask you to look too, Mr. Hazuki? Huh? Two heads are better than one. Please. <laughs> I'll help you look. Thank you. You could start by asking around. Take this photo of him. Why don't you ask around on Vendor Avenue? Vendor Avenue. Got it. Let me know if you find anything, no matter how small. Okay. Right, I wonder how this will go down. Again, I've not done this DLC yet, guys. I was kind of savoring it for when I finally got around to continuing this Let's Play. Um, so you are going to suffer through this with me. Right, do we just... Uh, let's see, do I... If I talk to someone, uh, will they... Hey, man. Um... I got some real good. No, don't you like? Or did you? No. Hey, man. I. Uh. uh okay. You're rude. Um. Now, one thing we're gonna do is buy more nanners. Oh, I keep petting the. F I do this all the time. I always. I. All kidding aside, I have all. 
I should have, actually, you probably saw the dialogue there. I probably should have let you read that, but... Yeah, every time, because I always come to this woman to buy bananas, and I always hit the Excuse A button me. instead of the fucking X button. But yeah, that's uh, quite some dialogue she gives you there. Alright, so let's head to Vendor Avenue, the new. I don't know, maybe something will trigger? I mean, it's night time right now, so maybe it won't. Ooh, hold on. Oh, I've not seen- I've not done this yet. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm just- I'm, I'm just curious, guys. I'm not saying we'll do this, but I just want to see what this is. Excuse me. What do you want? Or wait, or maybe Can this is- question? Oh, maybe this is- oh, okay. Right, yeah, this is part of the DLC. Have you seen this man? No, no idea. Who's that? He from Yao? No. He's from Hong Kong. Oh no. Huh? Is something... I heard talk that some real bad guys came here from Hong Kong. I'm listening. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. For real? Okay, whatever. What about the rumors? Oh, they're called the blue spiders. Oh, for goodness sake. I heard sake. they have big tattoos on their heads. Oh! Tattoos. Yeah, of a blue spider. It's just a rumor, though. Okay. Thanks. Alright, here, you fucking ruined my immersion, you cunt. Uh, oh, we can talk to her again, hey, apparently. What do you I'm looking for this man. <laughs> Did you see that? Seen him before. Okay. Okay, so this is how that works, right. Um... <clears throat> yeah, the blue spiders, so I guess that's that guy from back in, uh, that we, whose arse we kicked back in Bailu Village. I heard the term blue spiders, and I thought to myself, hey, blue spiders, red snakes, uh, you're fucking hilarious, you Suzuki. Uh, but okay, I, I guess you did. You modeled a guy with a big fucking spider tattoo, so I guess that's something. Um, uh, I'm just cutting in, I'm just coming in here, literally see if the, uh, side quest indicator comes up. Um, you know, I never talked about this before, but I can... This set of stairs right here, I remember the... I remember during the Kickstarter, they released a bit of footage of, like, Neo and Shenhua going up those steps. And I don't know, it was like, it's just one of those things I remember. And think to myself, oh, they're fucking... Up on the steps and shit. Uh, it's Neo and uh, Shen Hua together. Okay. Actually, no doubt this DLC is probably... Actually, what is he even wrote in these suits? Appears to be an organization called the Blue Spiders. Maybe I have to go back to that guy or something? Because this is Vendor Avenue. It is, right? Um, I mean, there's shitloads of vendors. Why wouldn't it be? I should remember this. You look like we can talk to you. Well, who the... What the hell do you give us, Zorway? You just run this statue shop, don't you? Alright, alright. Oh, you remind me of that guy from Shem you won that kept practicing his golf swing. And that fucking thing's still no done for some reason. Uh, yeah. No. Right, we can actually go. We can go to the shrine right now. I wonder what. I wonder what happens if you go there at night. I was planning to go there the next day, but hold on. Let's uh. Let's try this out. Aren't you a bit too young to be smoking? Okay. Maybe it's once we learn about the blue spiders, we're supposed to report back to that guy. What was his name? Wei? Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's see what happens when we go to the shrine at night. I'm curious now. Doesn't look like there's anything ahead. You what? Hey, there is. There's a fucking shrine, Neo. Go to Hua Shao Temple. I guess... I can't go there till tomorrow? 
Eh. And let's see if we can report back to Wei then. Actually, I never tried you, did I? Uh, 